Good morning, guys. So, hopefully you have had a good week so far. Hopefully you're catching up on your work. Remember, if you see redo, rework, retest, do them because we're sending them out so you can get a better grade. Um, if you are missing any work, that will require you to take responsibility and go back and check. If you have any questions, myself, Mr. Morales, Miss Tate, Miss Leach, and Miss Rokas all have Zoom times. You're fourth graders now. It's your responsibility to make sure you are caught up on your own work. We'll do our best to send out reworks as we need them, but we need you to make sure you turn in all your stuff. Okay, the mean stuff is over with. Now, this week was the election, right? So we did a quiz yesterday talking about the U.S. Constitution, right? Who the leaders of power are. Uh, let's see, uh, do we remember the three branches of government? Uh, Mr. Morales, I, I remember... Uh, one, uh, because we just had an election last night for it, uh, mm -hmm. was for the executive branch. Indeed. Uh, and the president is at the top of the executive branch. And then below him is his cabinet and staff who also uh, fulfill the uh, responsibilities of the executive branch. Um, and they're the ones that... Can you explain executive branch, Mr. Morales? Okay, so the executive branch, they're the ones that enforce the laws. The executive branch enforces the laws, which means that they make sure that the laws we have in place, people are following them. Hopefully that makes some sense. Yeah, that makes good sense. I think so. I um, well, now, who makes the laws? Now... The people, the group that makes the laws is the legislative branch. And that branch includes Congress. And there are two the, parts to Congress. Yep, the upper house or the upper or the high court or high Congress and low Congress. Mm -hmm. And so the high Congress is the Senate, which is comprised of senators. And then you have the low Congress which is the House of Representatives. Now, the high seat, or the Senate, has, I believe, just over 100 members, whereas the House of Representatives has over... 435. Four, yeah, it has 435. So, each state has multiple senators and multiple House of or Representatives, but you're going to have a whole lot more House representatives than you are senators. Okay, so they make the laws, both the uh, House of Representatives and the Senate. Now, the, ju the judicial branch, if I remember right, mm -hmm. is the branch that interprets those laws. So th the highest-ranking members of the judicial branch uh, in our country is the Supreme Court, the United States Supreme Court. Um, and you've probably heard your parents talk about them in the news recently. Um, so they're the ones who, um, they will interpret the law that the legislator makes. They will interpret it. And they will tell you, if you bring a case to them, whether your case fits in the law or does not. Um, and then we have state versions of each one of those branches. And the executive branch is the governor. Current governor is Greg Abbott. Um, we have the legislative branches, which are the state Senate and state House of Representatives. And then we have our own state Supreme Court. We also have judges all throughout the counties and districts of Texas that also interpret laws and serve as the judicial uh, branch for Texas. Let's see, what uh, what else did we really learn about this week? 
Well, well, we did learn it's important to vote. Yes, we, we learned that it is a civic duty mm -hmm. to vote when you're old enough. Right now, I mean, you're not old enough, but that's okay. Yeah, we're, getting um, we're, getting we're, we're getting there. You're growing up. Don't grow up too fast. Um, grow up at the appropriate speed. We're weird. <laughs> um, and also, remember, it's important to vote because that's how you show your voice, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why in classes, we'll ask, okay, who wants to do this? Raise your hand. Okay, who wants to do this? Raise your hand. That's called voting. Yep. You share your opinion that way. Okay. All right. Um, oh, there was something else important. We learned about the U.S. Constitution. Yes, we did. And uh, there will be coming a day... Oh, when is Constitution Day? <laughs> um, I can't. Hold on, Miss Morales is going to find it. So, the U.S. Constitution we learned is the set of rules. We missed Constitution Day. Did we? It was okay. September 17th. Oh, so we missed Constitution Day. So that's okay. <laughs> Constitution is um, the we'll call it the set of rules by how we kind of govern, um, and so. The most important part of the Constitution that gives us the right to do what we need is called the Bill of Rights. That is the first 10 amendments. Now, you learned about this last year, right? The Bill of Rights, very important, makes up part of the Constitution. So the Constitution, again, is all of the laws that we have to follow as Americans, right? Mm hmm Yep. Nod your heads. Yes. Nod your head. Okay. All right. So, guys, um, if you have any questions, now's the time to message us. Mess message us. Join us on the Zoom. I said message us twice. I'll say it one more time. Message us. Zoom us. We get lonely. We have to entertain ourselves. So, join us. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a great day. Um, otherwise... High five? Right? Is that what I do? I think that's what I do, right? Yeah, you high five usually. Oh, I high five. High five. Okay. High five! <laughs>